So the other day, uh, a couple days from now, when I was in the future and Santa Claus came down the chimney, he was like, hey, hey, Baron, I couldn't do it. I was like, Santa, what are we doing in the future? And he said, shut up, kid. Listen, give me some more milk and cookies, you little ingrate. And I did. And he told me, hey, kid, I can't get you a Cyberpunk 2077 because you don't have a supercomputer or a PlayStation 12. You, you, it, it runs crap on everything else. So, so you can't play it, kid. And I got sad. But he said, I, I got you tabs. It's totally accurate. Accurate cyberpunk and so that's what we're gonna be doing today we're gonna try to make some cyberpunk units so I, I think what we need to do is is make some good old cyberpunk characters so let's go with this guy he's probably the most uh, recognizable and infamous character in all of cyberpunk for the vast majority of us who haven't gotten to play the game yet and it's Johnny Silverhand and he's beautiful and he'll call us beautiful too and it's just great so what we need to do is we need to work on his head now, you may be thinking to yourself, Johnny Depp has nothing to do with this. And you're right, because this is Keanu Reeves. And this is not a Keanu Reeves mustache. We need a goatee. Yeah, I guess we could do Keanu Reeves. Matrix. Hmm. Speed. I know. Kung Fu. Okay, this isn't working. I'm looking for a freaking goatee. See, this is the bucket head that made Juggernaut's mask. I, I find it wildly impressive what people have been able to do. Oh, that's kind of there, but it's a little too far eastern right now. The Mongolian mustache. Whoa. That's kind of cyberpunky. Did someone mention my name? Kind of, but also not really. Oh! <gasps> but he does need aviators. Do we have aviators here? Remember guys, always wear your masks. Oh no, we're gonna have to go with a beard, okay. Already from the beginning. He needs long hair. So what we could do here is change the color of this. There we go, I mean that looks pretty decent. That's probably as good as we're gonna get. Now we need a really cool looking shirt and that's gotta be like modern looking. So the first place I wanna go is here. Now it had like a dragon on the front of it or like I think that's his band. He's like a big old red dragon face, a samurai face. Come on Johnny, we got any cool stuff? I mean he wasn't a mercenary 1.2. I guess we're gonna have to go with this. Black shirt, and he needs arm tattoos, and he, and he needs black pants. You see, in my head, this was gonna be the coolest unit ever. All right, there has to be tat- There's no tattoos! Unbelievable! What do we, what do, we do, like, sleeve? Oh, man. Well, he needs, like, robotic-looking hands. I mean, he's Johnny Silverhands. His left hand is, like, it's a robot. See, we're seeing the the shortcomings. Well, he is named Johnny Silverhands, so these have to be silver. All right, Johnny No Pants, Johnny Boy Wicks. What is, he loves using the name John, I guess. Keanu Reeves. Okay, now we need pants. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. It doesn't cover his midsection, so he looks like he's wearing a crop top. <laughs> this, this is going disastrously already. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, what we can do is is we got to give him an armored vest. That's that's pretty much what he wears a lot more. We can do that. We need a modern looking jacket because the, this crop top is not working. Isn't there modern units in here? Yeah, so here we go. We need one of these, but we need one that's... Uh, this one kind of looks better, but like, why is he going to be carrying a radio, dude? Dude lives in the future. There we go. Armored vest. We'll fix your crop top, don't worry. And his pants are more kind of like brown, you know? Yeah, we're, we'll go with this. Now we got to give him a shirt. Well, you know what? You're just going to have to cover your midsection. Actually, that can actually work out. Because I think what we need is we need bullets. So we'll give him some bullets and I think he needs like, he's always running around with that silver pistol. And I'm also curious, are there dog tags? <laughs> There's a hot dog. So we can't do his dog tags. There we go. He's gonna have a an unholstered thing and we need combat boots for him now. There we go. We got some of those boots and his boots, they're looking, they're looking black. There we go. <laughs> oh, Johnny, what are we gonna do with you? In terms of weapons, he's got some really good shooting skills, and he's also known for singing. Why can't we get a guitar? Is there no music out here? I guess he's gonna have to be a shouter, and we need a pistol for sure, so we need modern-looking weapons here. All right. I mean, he could have a deagle, which kind of looks like it works. Because he always has this, like, futuristic-looking silver gun. So Deagle it is, and he's holding it in his right hand. In his left hand, he's got a guitar, but, I mean, you're not a melee unit. But you can't... Oh, we gotta give you shouting, for sure. You know what? He's part of the band The Samurai. Boom! 
there we go. You know, we gotta add some stuff here to make him good. Now his stats, he's gonna have to have like a really nice amount of hit points. And let's see, weight, we'll give it normal. Movement speed, I mean, you know what, you're probably decent. Attack speed, we'll do like 2.45. And damage, it'll be a 2.00. So, I mean, that's what we got. Now let's test him out, and then we're gonna be seeing what other units we can come up with, as well as what the community's done. See, cause like, when you go to the workshop here, and if you were to browse, and you were to type, oh, you know what? Cyberpunk. Well, A, we're on battles. So if you just put in cyber, no mods have been found, but units? Look at this. And then if we sort it by the most subscribers of all time, we've got Cyber Ninja. Oh, that's pretty cool. I want to see how good our, our Johnny Silverhand is. And we've got a Cyber Crossbow, huh? What about the Neon? Do people make Neons? Oh, this guy looks cool. He kind of... Oh, I, that's a really good armor set. What armor is that? And then we got Cyber Sam here who looks like a freaking Samurai. Wait, is this supposed to be Sam Gibson from Cyberpunk? Maybe. Well, what if I put Neon in here? Oh, we got some Neon. We got Neon Man, Neon King, Neon Energy Sword. Ooh, Neon Energy Pistol. This would be good. What about factions? I mean, someone had, yes. The Neon Faction returns. We've got one with 3,000 downloads. It's gotta be good. So Cyberpunk versus Neon. Basically, Cyberpunk versus totally accurate Cyberpunk. But then what we gotta do is we gotta make a faction. And we'll call it Cyberpunk. Now, what logo would indicate the future? Well, <laughs> We don't have a guitar, but we could have the banjo in honor of Johnny Silverhand. John. Look at that. See? Look how many John Wicks we have now. We have Johnny Silverson. Johnny Hammersticks. What about Neon? Neon Energy Pistol. Cyber. And you know what? You gotta be like big, bright pink. So we got ourselves a, <laughs> a very loose cyberpunk faction here. Okay? So now, like, there's no real map that's like, what? Where did the Christmas map go? Is- are there be- are there jokes being played on me? Well, it's in a city, right? Although, spooky would probably be better. So let's go with this spooky one and see how good are. See, we got this cyber faction Zeus P90 soldier and a Zeus minigun soldier. And then we got- this is called cyberpunk and I'm not sure, like, Fury, Emerald, Goldie, and the Blues. And then we have our cyberpunk in here. All right, Johnny Silverhands, let's see just how good you are. You you know the drill. Normally we test against an equal monetary value of squires. Now you have, okay, your deagle is hitting them in the kneecaps and not doing any damage. Do we, we must need to up. Oh, you got the shouter ability. Okay, so your musical abilities seem to be pretty good. Or are you just missing? you missing with this deagle? This thing is firing- It's supposed to fire like a 50 caliber slug out of here. So you can buy time. Okay, wow, this thing- Okay, we need to up his statistics, clearly. And he's also not using the shuriken, despite being a ranged unit? But he did win, so I mean, that's gotta count for something. And I mean, one of the key things is like, after you make a unit to, um, test him, right? So let's see, where did we go wrong? Shuriken throw. Yeah, why aren't you, you know what, maybe? I mean, we could give you Shuriken Tempest, I guess. And your damage needs to be, I guess, probably a 5.13. And let's go ahead and uh, test you out here. This is what we should've done, oh God. Okay, <laughs> why is the, he just turned into an absolute tornado of Shuriken. And look at him, just like, ha ha. Uh-oh. Oh, he shot me. I thought I thought the battle stopped for a second. He was just being dramatic. Okay, let's let's test him again because it's actually pretty amazing. Okay, so he's reloading his deagle. Oh my gosh, between the uh, shouting, which is I guess as close as we can get to kind of indicating that, you know, he was a singer. Yeah, and I guess like you just have to get close. <laughs> and most of the time he just shouts. So that's probably why the shuriken didn't hit. He, he rarely uses that. You have to get in close. So I think the best way to test that is with hobbits. I heard a little rumor though, that there might be a little bit of a secret. Oh! Okay, so that looks like an astronaut helmet, but that's actually a snow globe. I f see, isn't that cool? Okay, so we, hey, we unlocked the secret level, sno Farmer Snow. Okay, good. So now I can actually go to a cyberpunk map and you just found out about, you know, one of the other little tab secrets that we actually had shown off for us, but apparently it was patched and you have to unlock it. I love the idea of finding these little top secrets and, uh, 
these little Easter eggs because this is just absolutely gorgeous. I'm surprised there's no abominable snowman faction or anything like that. That'd be cool. All right, so Johnny Silverhand versus... Get the neon faction up here. Okay, we got to reset. We'll put neon... We'll put our cyberpunk, and then maybe we'll put in the other cyberpunk faction. I mean, I think that's pretty good. So we got Johnny Boy Silverhands. Now let's try him against the Neon. So we've got the energy pistols. We've got the Tesla guy. Oh my gosh. We got the energy sword and energy dude. Okay. Oh, I'm actually very curious how energy dude is going to work. So this is kind of cool. They got glowing eyes. Now this guy is Tesla in the middle, so he should be firing lightning bolts. <laughs> oh, I thought he died immediately. He's... He's laying down. You, you, you gonna do some covering fire? You gonna fire that lightning gun or what? Oh gosh, this guy's just getting shuriken straight to the face. So we need to test out, I guess, the neon faction against some units. Okay, uh, Johnny Silverhands is doing pretty good. So let's try the neons against some squires as is per usual here. I wanna see lightning. Okay, he's just firing bullets. Because that was the coolest. Like, the Neon Faction was one of the coolest factions in old school tabs. I understand why, you know, they were taken out. Or rather, like, they were kind of always, like, tabs 2.0. The way I thought about it. I actually miss original tabs now. Isn't that just human nature? So, this Neon Faction, I think it needs a little bit of work. Because there's also the idea that self-preservation isn't very important when you're a Neon unit. Um, but you know what can you do? So Neon, we might, you know what, if you guys want, we could make a Neon faction. But let's see, Fury, Emerald, Goldie, and the Blues against... Let's put them against, like, some Spartans, some Hoplites here. Let's see how well they do, because these guys... Okay, see? This guy looks like he's Tesla. These guys look awesome, by the way. So the Blues, we've got Goldie, and we got the other two, which I'm actually forgetting their names. Oh, my God. Okay. Wow, these guys could probably take on, like, some powerful factions. Like, like from the last video, one of the most powerful ones was um the DC Comics guys. So we're going to put them up against them. Let's do... How about Superman? Can... Oh, it looked like they stopped... Okay. Well, Superman is clearly more than enough powerful. What about Cyborg? Cyborg seems like he would fit very well in Cyberpunk 2077. Oh, man. That's a... That was really cool. Look at that little, like, the head, like, the cyborg thing. This guy does look cyborgy. He's blocking shots. He, he fired a rocket, it looked like. Rockets may have missed, though. And those rockets seem like they fire incredibly fast. Faster than a normal bazooka, but I, I could be wrong. Oh, they got him pinned down for a second. Uh oh, they're reloading. And as a result, Cyborg pulls off the heavy shot. Okay. What about the Martian Manhunter? I mean, are there aliens in Cyborg? I don't think so. Because it's 2077, you know? The <laughs> okay, Martian Manhunter, you're dead. What about Aquaman? Oh, Aquaman's pretty powerful with his trident. Oh, what was he doing? What was his power? He looked like he was doing something. And I always love how uh, Tab's units hold their weapons. <laughs> Did you see him spinning around? He like broke his wrist that way. Oh, I thought they were going to knock him off. Come on, knock Aquaman off. Oh, you know what we need to do? I think we need to test something. Can Aquaman swim? Oh, look at that. Oh, that guy's stuck. He's broken. Aquaman is broken. And as a result, he's dead. Okay, so you know how in Tab's, if you fall in the water, you die right? Well, I want to see if we can get Aquaman to fall in the water and if he'll survive. I think in order for us to get him to fall off, we need some Dynasty Firework Archers. That's our best chance at propelling him out of the map, right? Okay, there he is. He, he's gone airborne, but so is everybody else. Hold on. I, I just, I've lost him. Okay, there he is with some fire arrows straight to the face. Oh, is he, is he fall? Where did he go? There he is. Okay. What? He's not wanting to fall in the water. Oh, but he did. Okay. Aquaman, you should survive. I, I guess any unit, including the super peasant and the dark peasant, if they fall in the water in tabs, they do die. So that does make sense, but it doesn't mean it's not a little bit disappointing. Maybe in tabs, if you could have like a characteristic that would make them amphibious, right? And maybe this could be the future. Who really knows? You can get some elementals and stuff in there. But I digress because this is really about the cyberpunk units. Specifically ours. So we got Johnny Silverhands. We got some energy pistols. We got Cyber Sam, Cyberpunk, and Cyber Ninja. Now let's have them fight some musketeers. A full line of muskets. Doubled. Oh my... Whoa. Hold on. Someone just did something amazing. He... They fully exploded this entire line. Now, did he throw a grenade? Was it a projectile? I'm not seeing anything this time. Oh! 
Okay, it stores lightning ability. Okay, got it. That makes a little bit more sense. Wow, these guys are incredibly powerful. Okay, so now the test. DC Comics, Robin, Cyborg, Manhunter, Superman, Aquaman, Green Lantern, Flash, Wonder Woman, Batman, and Shazam. I think this. I think the DC Comics superheroes are gonna win this time. But you know, yeah, you kind of know. <laughs> okay. Well, what if we added in some neon reinforcements? We'll have some energy swords, which just look like regular swords. An energy dude in the front. These are the energy dude backpacks, if you remember those guys. And then just like a ton of pistols. We'll put them in the front because old tabs. <laughs> Why not? You can't even really make out what's going on. It's absolute chaos all over the place. But you know what? I mean, we got some suggestions to make units here and I, I think that you know johnny silverhands he's okay given what we had to work with he's not bad when you look at these uh weapons and powers that we had clothes could have been a little bit better but you know at least his hit pan hit points are nice his hit pants are also kind of nice so anyway guys thank you for watching another episode of totally accurate battle simulator pull the trigger on the like button if you did enjoy it subscribe if you're new and let me know what factions or units or challenges we should do in the next video thanks for watching